is actually going to be a fun one. This is going to be a fun one. Oh boy. Uh, so, hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of an interesting stream for me because uh, my internet is currently out. Uh, it died at about 5.30 and uh, it has not come back. Uh, so, I'm gonna hope for the best. Um, why am I gonna hope for the best? Because I am playing the game that I think I've played oh so many times before, and that is... Uh, hold on, let's get into it straight away. Jeez. Here we go, so... Uh, today I'll be playing uh, Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation 1. A game that I have played... Uh, I might turn this up a little bit, because it's definitely on the quieter side for me. Uh, it's a game that I've played way, way many times. Um, I can't be, how's it going? Um, so, yeah. Now, surprisingly, I have dropped no frames due to network. So, if this holds true, because I, I did a speed test earlier, and I'm so very happy that my 4G provides me... 70 megabits down and 17 up, although it was 14 up on a second test. But 14 up ain't too bad, because I only need 6 in order to make a stream. So, um, I know, right? I know. So, uh, yeah, my internet's been out for, uh, like, I, I think it's because of the rain. I think it is because, like, something's been knocked out. I got a, a um, a, uh, hold on, I got a, a, uh, prompt from from Aussie Broadband saying, uh, please note that severe weather in New South Wales has caused outages across the NBN network. In some instances, technicians are unable to attend the site or restoration has been delayed due to adverse weather conditions. Local power outages are also contributing to a loss of NBN network services. Power providers are working to reconnect power to the affected areas as soon as possible. Uh, which sounds like a very generic, like whatever kind of response, um, because I've got uh, power. I've been, my computer's been on the whole time. Uh, but, yeah, no, um, no internet, so my, uh, my NTD's just flashing like, yeah, no, nothing downstream, uh, which is an issue. Um, so, but, yeah, no, the mobile's doing me okay, and I have plenty of bandwidth to attempt to do this a couple of times, because I don't go too out, uh, out too much, I don't use, uh, mobile internet really that much. I love this, like, music. It's got nothing to do with Toy Story. In fact, most of the music in this game has nothing to do with Toy Story. But it's, um... I don't know who does the music for the Traveler's Tales games, but they're very, uh... I don't know how to say it. Uh... Very kind of, kind of... Fashionable and glamorous. It's not, it's not, um... It's not Richard Jack, is it? Richard? Ricard? I'm gonna get this wrong, so... I'm pretty sure it's Richard Jock. Uh, so I will start this. Yeah, yeah, Richard Jock. Or Jayquees. I don't know. Stealing Woody! Jike! Jake's? Jack Jacks. I think that's... I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. So... Am I allowed to show clips from the movie? I don't think I am. Twitch is a very perilous ground, so... Unfortunately, you're gonna have to rely on no clips from the film itself. But, uh, you could probably know how the, the, the thing works. Uh, how does... How does, uh... <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to see a little bit of, uh, retro at the moment, because, uh, gotta tell the game that I am indeed using... Oh, I am using a DualShock. I am Buzz Lightyear. How do you tell retro that you're using the DualShock? I didn't even look this up, man. Uh, either that or this this game can't be 100% D-pad, can it? <laughs> can't be 100% D-pad. There's got to be something that's. Um, so yeah, I I'm giving the worst introduction of the game to people who have never seen the game before. Uh, Toy Story 2 on the uh, PlayStation One in particular, but the game was released on the N64, the Dreamcast. 
and uh, the PC. I know, right? There's a PC version, and I don't play the PC version. I'm just like, ah, emulate the version that takes like five seconds to load a menu. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so, hold on, if I go to configure controller, I guess that's not really much help, is it? The vibration is on, so it does believe I'm using a DualShock, but not enough to try and use the left analog stick. Who knows? Okay, so, uh, I owned this game as a kid. This was back in the day when my mum would buy me games, because I didn't really know better. I didn't know what a Mario was. Uh, and so, what, what did I enjoy as a kid? Why, yes, I enjoyed my, uh, Disney Pixar movies. So, Toy Story 2 ended up being one of those games. Um... There were a few others. There was uh, A Bug's Life. There was An Emperor's New Groove. Uh, there were uh, um, a handful of other ones. Uh, I'm going to try and play this rather quickly, but I, st I don't know the absolute strats. Uh, but I'm going to try my best. Okay, I'm not doing particularly amazing. <laughs> uh, but I, I'll, I'll try and sum up this game in like three minutes. So, um... So I basically, oh, nice, um, but yeah, I, I basically owned this game as a kid, never really thought too much about it, but it's, it's one that holds up decently. It's on the easier side, it's so forgiving with lives, um, but it's a remarkably decent platformer. Uh, why did we come in here anyway? This is just for coins, this isn't like the time-wise at all. Uh, that's an interesting spot that you can, like, get yourself into, so... Okay, sure. Um, and obviously if I try and reshoot this guy, he doesn't give me coins. Yep, okay. Uh, so... What is this game exactly? It is a collectathon. It's a collectathon that came... Probably right when collectathons were going out of fashion. And there's a bajillion drop frames. Okay, so, um, just for note as well, I'm gonna be re-uploading this, uh via my own manual upload. I don't know why I'm doing that. I I saw that if you... Uh, oh, I think you gotta be standing here and then you can jump up there and then you can do this without having to push the box. Which is great. So I'm learning I'm learning a handful of strats, but I need to, I need to definitely learn some more. Um, and I suck as well. I really suck. <laughs> Um, because you do have to go up there if you're trying to get 100%, so, uh, yeah, okay, try not to do it legit. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to push the box here. Um, so this came at the end of a bunch of, um, yeah, a bunch of, uh, 3D collectors on platformers. I think the, uh, the obvious ones to compare to would be the Rareware ones, so Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, um, even, even the ones that were kind of middling, like, uh, Mario Sunshine, you could definitely kind of tell that the, uh, the genre was dying a bit, and, yeah, I wish my analog stick was working, but I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, nah, right now. So, uh, you're gonna have to rely on me kind of using a D-pad for this, but I'll say I grew up with this on a D-pad, it's fine. Um, so what? exactly is the collectathon structure of this game well you have uh effectively Ooh, i suck i suck so much you effectively have um three or five sets of three levels where uh, it's two regular levels back to back and then a boss level uh, in each of the regular levels there are five pizza planet tokens to collect uh which arbitrarily uh, like, your gates to go into the next level. So I believe you need two in order to, like, once you get at least one in the level. I think that's also another one. You need at least one in a level to continue. Um, and then, yeah, when you're on the level select screen, it tells you, oh, you need X number in order to go into the level. So, um, so that's basically your, your limit. Uh, conveniently, every level has the same, uh, kinds of objectives. How to get them are a little different in each level. Uh, but, uh, each of the tokens are basically, there's one for collecting 50 coins, and then you visit, um, Ham. He's somewhere in the level. Uh, I saw this, uh, kind of trick as well, where you jump up here, and then you do, like, a really fun jump. Okay, never mind. Um, so, you do that, um, yeah, so you collect the coins. Uh, one is for defeating a boss, as you saw just there. There is Ham, so I shall return to him later, once I have more coins. 
Um, one of them involves collecting five of something and then delivering it to a person. In, the, in that case, that's the sheep in this level. Uh, you see me, by the way, use this laser. You also get the spin attack, so it's like... I don't know, is that like a Crash Bandicoot thing? I can't remember where in the film he even like, does do a spin like that, but sure. Okay. Um... <laughs> I know, right? It's just like, yep, it's it's a game. And, and his laser just works. It blows up things. Like, sure. Uh, one is for doing a race objective. Uh, this is gonna be fun. I hate this, like, one bit. Uh, so, you'll see me do that in a bit. And the last one is always, like, a hidden one. Uh, as in, usually it's either it's in a spot or there's a puzzle associated or something along the lines of that. Um, so I guess I'll go down here, uh, which is... Where the next one is. Uh, there are definitely way more than 50 coins in the level. Um, you're also uh, on the first of, of those three levels. So levels 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13. Uh, some piece of Mr. Potato Head is somewhere in the level. And if you find that and deliver it to him, you will unlock a power-up that can be used in other levels. But most likely uh, is only required for one of two pieces of backtracking you actually need. Uh, or three. But as a kid, I could figure out how to kind of like, you know, sequence break one of them. So, um, here's something I'm curious about. I've always wanted to, to get that sheep, like, early. But the jump is just a little... No, it's not, actually. Never mind. This is the worst game ever. <laughs> um, here's another one as well. Like, you do, like, you've got a lot of health, and also you can just jump up here. You don't need to really deliver that on this level. I think there's a later level where it is necessary, so I did get the the ear then. Um, but uh, yeah, that basically sums up the game. You do those objectives for two levels, and then you fight a boss. The boss is usually a bit of a joke. Uh, never mind that there are bosses within each of the levels anyway, but the... The ones that you do fight are required, uh, which I guess that means, like, there's an impressive 15 bosses in the game, but... Uh, ah, dude, is there a way to skip this? I wish there was. Um, so you'll just see me pushing these boxes here. Um, there's not really too much to say with the game, but I definitely do... Is this actually on the quiet end? I actually do think this is, like, rather quiet. I'll turn it up slightly. Um, I cannot turn it up anymore. Maybe I can amplify it if I really want to, but, um, I guess I'm editing it in post, so, in that case, should be fine. Um, ooh, don't push that back. Uh, and yeah, that's the game. Now, if you're a reasonably long-term channel watcher of mine, you may, uh, remember the fact that I have played this game three times already on the channel, in differing degrees, and this is still no exception. I, I am now playing this on an emulator. I'm not playing this, um, I think this is the first time I actually emulated on an N64. Uh, sorry, on a, on a PS1. I, the first time I played the game, that was, like, let's play number six. That was, like, way on the back. Um, actually, if I pick that up, that last coin up as well, just so I can get that right away. Um, and then you don't have to care about the coins, so, nice and good. Uh, let me deliver that to him, to Ham, sorry. <laughs> gotta get the, the, the pronouns right. Um, and you gotta be very careful you don't exit the level, because you really don't want to undo the, the collectibles. Um, everything else is mostly fine, but it's just the collectibles. So, um, so h here in my garage, uh, with my Lamborghini, you gotta work your way around here to get up to the top. I don't really know of any, like, super shortcutty strats. That being said, I looked it up. The 100%, like, speedrun time, uh, you unlock a little shortcut there, so that's nice. Where if you fall down, you just climb up like that. Um, but I, I saw that the 100% time in this was, wow, I would love to buy some followers, man. Thank you very much. It's not like I've already got 50 followers so I can just get affiliate status. It's <laughs> really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's not like I'm too far off. I haven't played this game really that much beyond, um, beyond the Let's Plays. 
Uh, like, I definitely played it a ton as a kid, but I don't casually play this game, like, for, for speedrunning purposes, which is interesting, because, like, I played Mario 64, I play Quake, I've done Half-Life 1, um, uh, what was another game I've tried? I tried to Inspiro 1, uh, and I can, I can do a, a reasonably good, like, sub 3 hour, 120% time, which is, like, that's, that's alright, like, you know, here's a full-fledged game, I'm playing it 100%, and I still get, you know, all the, you know, it's not like an absolutely amazing time, I definitely, you know, I've still got like an hour 40 to cut if I want to be world record. I'm not doing like any like severe strats, but I'm doing okay. So I feel like this is a game that I can maybe get into. I would like to investigate some things. So this is not necessarily a speed run right now, but this is me kind of like gauging myself on like, how well can I actually like take things? Um, and right now that is, uh, four out of the five tokens, and the last token is the collecting one. Uh, so as you saw that race, the, you race against the RC car in almost all the levels, but not quite all of them. Uh, I would imagine the trick for 100%ing this game is being able to kind of like flow through the levels pretty alright. Sorry, for, for speedrunning 100%. Uh, so definitely don't fall like I did. Um, and by the way, like, uh, health means nothing because lives are like, meaningless. If you die, you just return, like, very close to where you died, and you have so much health that, like, it's just not a concern. There's a very finite amount of, like, things that will heal you in the level, but... Um... You know, like, I feel like you could take, like, 12 hits before you actually, like, pop it, so... Uh... But yeah, I, uh... Other than that, played the game as a kid, and you guys obviously know that. I think I replayed it in... 2010, I think. Uh, I think I'd played that at the time when I was like, okay, like, I'm playing these games trash. Uh, and I believe I played that on, like, the, the, the bad kind of capture device. Um, so <laughs> those of you who knew me at the time probably knew that. Um, and then you can exit levels. So you select it, Buzz starts flying, except he's flying into a ceiling, so what's the point? I don't know. And then you get gauged on how well you did, but obviously I got all five tokens and the coins really don't matter because who, who the heck plays for coins? Is there a duplication glitch? Perhaps. There may be, but I don't know of one. Uh, so this is Andy's neighborhood level. Uh, this is probably where, which separates the boys from the men. That first level was simple as. This level is complex as heck. Um, and at this point, yeah, I don't really know like what's the speedrun strats. Um, but I do know that uh, I can sequence break this level. Uh, to the point that I don't have to backtrack at a late point, so that's nice. Um, this song legitimately people play. In fact, quite quite a fair number of songs in this uh, like original soundtrack, people do play like in, in like no context, you know, whatever. Like I'm pretty sure Duncan's played like something Toy Story 2 uh, as like an outro video, like that kind of stuff. Uh, for reference. It's really hard to see, and it still was hard to see on a CRT. Uh, there's a green army man, you're supposed to chase him, shooting flares, and ground pound the holes, and then they smoke. Uh, there's a guy who tells you. Uh, so here's the sequence break. So you're supposed to have a later power to beat this guy. You can see there's the power right there. Uh, but what the RC car does is that he can't pass you if you stand in front of him. And I'm pretty sure... I've done this, like, a fair number of times where you can just step in front of him. Like, there's enough time to respond to him coming back onto screen. Um, I believe... That's the fun part, trying to deal with, with that corner, though. Um, but, yeah, like, you're supposed to have the boots. You don't, you don't have to. Those turbo boots... Don't, don't have that. Uh, okay. Uh, you can spot these newer enemies in this level. Uh, we had like those red kind of grabby arm guys. They still exist in this level. And the blue flying guys, there's one. Uh, I don't want to stand in the wet concrete necessarily. I mean, that's okay. But... Uh, I think the trick is that like the... the there's only like a handful of checkpoints. I think it's mostly just detecting that you go to the start, go through the poles, 
go around the tree to some, like, degree. Uh, and then go through these poles again. Whoa, that was close. That was a bit close. Uh, I, I'm not too sure if it's detecting you go through these poles. But I'm pretty sure it's just detecting you go around the cone. And then, there you go. I didn't need to backtrack in order to do this level. People who do that, weak. Don't have to do it. I wonder if it actually is, like, I take much longer because I try doing that without the, the exploit. Um, sorry. Phrase that the other way. I wonder if it is quicker for me to actually backtrack and have the ability that lets me go faster when I do that. And it's only for that. Um, if you do backtrack, by the way, the level, like, almost entirely resets. In fact, I think it basically does. Like, all the tokens reappear, but you can, like, recollect them. Um, I think that's the case. Um... Uh, but for that, like, there's no, like, setup that you really need in order to, like, make that happen, so. Uh, yeah, so, uh, this level, yeah, you're basically going around the neighborhood. Uh, this is very loosely based off, uh, I guess the, the movie. If anyone has watched the movie, that's... What is it, 20, 21 years old now? It's definitely old. Uh, you remember this part in the backyard, oh sorry, where Buzz like runs out and starts like kind of grapple sliding around um, just to pick up green army men that are sitting in baskets out here. It happens, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I know, right? Uh... So this is this is one of those like it's it's a bit loosely based off the movie. Um, I feel like there were tie-in games at uh, at the time that did tie in with the the movie like quite quickly. Um, this isn't really one of them. I think it's fine. Like it at least the levels do follow the film to some extent. It's not taking like huge liberties with um, the film itself, so that's nice. Um, Actually, you know what? I might go up the tree first. I was thinking I'd go around and get um one of the other things. How many fingers have I got? I forgot where the army man like drop off his head. Use that to start actually. I think that's okay. Uh, hammers here, which is kind of awkward because I'm one coin short. Alright, whoop, whoop. Uh, so, this game is made by Traveler's Tales, uh, you may know them now for making every single LEGO video game ever. They keep making so many of them. But at the time, they were best known for, uh, maybe this game. Probably not this game. I think they had done, um, something a little more extravagant than this. Uh, oh, freaking Sonic 3D Blast, that's the one. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm good. So, this is a, this is a bit of a terrifying uh, part of the game, where now, you got this weird, like, kite thing. He seems to be dodging all my attacks. I'm just gonna shoot him, bro. And then he does this, which is actually terrifying. This this fight really spooks me. Um, I don't remember too much about the N64 version of this game. Um, I know this the Dreamcast version is like it's a better load time and a higher resolution, but it's actually like most of the same asset kind of game. So like, kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. Uh, this is my favorite part of the level when you go, oh, you do that. But in particular. You drop down into the neighbor. Uh, yes, that is the rocket boots again. Oh, is there no one in the water? Mm. Okay. I thought there was. Uh, so that's the token. You gotta, like, this is some very bizarre platforming, I'll tell you that. Um, why do I really like this game? I think I like it just because it's got, like, it's got a bit of charm to it. You, you got this, like, you know, kind of macro uh, concept. Dang it. hate this game now. It's actually the worst game ever. I really don't know why people even, like, play it. It's 
really not enjoyable at all. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, like I, I like this idea of like how every level is effectively like the you know like giant island. Everything is kind of big. Uh, you're not like disadvantaged at all based on like your you know controls or anything. It's it's rather smooth. Um, I think there's a certain degree of like yeah it it's a bit like. 3D platformery, like those things that you know, happen that are just like, this is not at all how you take this stuff quick. You go to the crash spin, that's how you save yourself. And the worst part is that, yeah, like it's one of those checkpoint freaking pushes. Um, there's a bit more health. I think this is the only time that the like, poles are curved in some capacity, which kind of throws me off. Uh, now, can I just jump for the, the thing? Probably not. Yeah, that's the, that's the weirdest one. I don't know what's with that. Um, so let's see. I've got the, that's the secret one. I've got the race. I've got the boss. I've got the coins. Now I just need to deliver this and I'm done with the level. Nice. Easy. Sweet. So I'm curious if I can actually, like, beat the game in two hours. That's my personal goal. I would love to be able to beat this game in two hours. Um, I have the feeling that I can do it in under three just normally. Because it's already, like, I'm 27 minutes into the stream. But that's two levels. So I'm feeling confident there. Uh, and, and think of it more like two out of, and I should have exited, whoops. Maybe it's quicker to do that. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, I have the feeling that... Uh, nice, by the way. <laughs> I have the feeling that, yeah, I could probably drag it down to, to um, two hours, given that I know things, but I haven't been timing, so I do know I started a little late, and I like I don't think I actually like played the first level until I was like eight minutes into the stream, but I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Um, So uh, this boss, uh, you fight it the exact same way you fight every other boss. In fact, it's really easy because you can almost actually do this. Extremely dangerous. There's, there's no point, really. You might as well just run and gun it. Uh, but yeah, no, the trick is just hold up your charge and then just like let him come at you. Oh, I was not enough to get him. That was the boss, by the way. Any blows up? Why not? Infinity and beyond. Um. Dun, 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 dun. You did it. You, you murdered something. And then uh, I do I get a bonus movie because I just beat a boss? Yeah, yeah. I guess guess what part of the film that is? It, the, all the clips are just taken from the film. There's nothing unique you get out of it. So don't don't worry too much. Uh, that I'm skipping the films because. If you know what the film does, then you'll probably wonder why they turned uh, a construction yard thing into a whole level. In fact, they, there's three levels. This whole, like, this next, like, string of three levels is uh, inspired by them just going places. Um, oh, I forgot where... Oh, I think I gotta, like, start climbing up the, the tower, actually. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head where Mr. Potato Head's thing is, and I think it's on the way. Uh, so this one's interesting. This isn't a, um, an RC car race. It's actually like a Slinky Dog's here, and he just tells you to pick up the, the wrenches without jumping off the, the thing. What am I walking on right now? I'm going to say oats. I'm definitely walking on oats right now. Uh, the PS1 was an imaginative time. Where was the last wrench, by the way? I... I guess I haven't explored this, like, corner, but I'm looking at it going... There it is. You can see that wonderful texture warping. It's like that on original hardware. The Nathan does wonders. Great going, bud. And, yeah, the PS1 is a jank system. Um, that was neat. So, perhaps, perhaps the secret is that I need to play on PC. Maybe that's one thing. I'll, I'll look into that, um, later on. Uh, just kind of like, you know... If I do want to play this on PC, what do I have to set up? 
Because, uh, yeah, I, I've always played this on the PS1, but I guess it suffers from a little bit of slowdown at times and the load times. Um, I don't think the resolution helps, but I don't think it's particularly, like, that bad. Um, and I'm not too sure if there's any, like, categories on, um... On, uh, hands up here, nice. Uh, I gotta remember to come back here later. Um, I'm not too sure if there's any, like, restrictions on, like, frame rate or anything. Um, I know it's surprising that, like, this game is a straight, like, PC version. Usually around this time era, you'd get, um more knockoff PS1, or sorry, um, PC versions, or very different PS, uh, you know, PlayStation versions or something like that. Um, I think the classic example people always mention is like a Harry Potter game or a, um, you know, like a, like Disney would always do like a, like a, like a scrapbook kind of, you know, like here's an activity pack game rather than like an actual, like, full game for the, the PC. Um, but I think this was surprisingly one that they played straight and just actually released the same game on multiple platforms, so good on them for that. Uh, I think the N64 one is also commonly run just because, again, like, no, um, no load times. Uh, that was the version I originally played um, for the channel way along back, and I've played the PlayStation 1 version uh, thingy, or the other times. I have played the Dreamcast version. I've never played the, P the PC version, but I'd imagine it's, it's the same. So, uh, this is probably the bane of speedrunners, because if you miss, it's like, yep, nice. So, uh, the purpose of this puzzle is that you're supposed to create a compound, complex color, and wave it over the thing to which the bucket drains and lights up the thing on the wall. You have to now rinse and repeat that for the other colors. Uh, it is not that hard, really, but it takes a bit of time. So, uh... This, this game is a little collector funny, I'll definitely say that. Like, there's a certain extent of, you know, what, what does this have to do with Toy Story? I don't know. What does this have to do in the realms of the real world that this game is taking place in? I'm not sure. It's this magical, like, thing that just detects paint color when you wave it over the, the circles on the ground. Uh, it just exists, and... For the purposes of the game, I'll accept it. And also, it's got a cat door here, which opens up conveniently for a Buzz Lightyear. Very convenient. Um, so, uh, yeah, he's down here, but I don't think... Uh, for reference as well, if, you, if you're wondering, Rex gives you uh, tips on the, the levels. Um, so he'll, he'll say, like, oh, you should, like, try and check out this area, or, like, watch out for this guy, or, like, you know, try doing this. Um, so I definitely, like, you know, it, it is a kid's game, it, and full, full disclosure, yes, I know, it's a kid's game, like, it is very easy, but, I also did play, uh, I haven't played anything actually, like, that easy on stream, I definitely play a lot of easy games on the channel, and uh, I'd 100% say this is not at all the easiest one I've played, uh, that, that merit would probably go to Barbie Super Sports, um, which is nowhere near as impressive to, to beat in half an hour because it's so short a game anyway. Uh, so you press this button and it lowers the bulldozer arm, uh, which I can now come back up. Whoop! Okay, I'm good. Alright, and then you go around construction pile. One thing I absolutely love about this game is the number of, like, the amount of verticality in the levels. Uh, it's quite a simple platformer. Like, it is a lot of just platforms. But it's got a lot of, like, I love this idea of, like, checkpointing these, like, more vertical parts. So here, like, that operates a lift to the side, which uh, goes up and down space uh, to this level. Protection unit. In fact, will you see it before that platform comes back? No, you won't. Yeah, it is. Nice. Uh, so here's a platform. It leans slightly when you stand on it, but this must be a really small like pillar, by the way. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, okay. I'm good. I didn't mess it up. I'm curious if you can speedrun and kind of like jump left there, but I 
don't quite trust myself, so... <laughs> uh, I have like a mild list of topics, but I don't know, like talking about this game is just like... It's, uh, it's, it's, it's like, it is slightly a nostalgia thing, but it's also one where like, I wouldn't necessarily say this game is like aged. No time like, to lose. terribly? It's, it's pretty alright. Um, it's, it's aged in the sense of like, yeah, it's a, it's a plat, it's a, yeah, it's a PS1 platform that came out in 2000, like it's of course old in that regard. Alright, so for reference as well, uh, there is a boss at the top here. I was correct in my guess. So, in order to beat the boss at the top, you need to have Mr. Potato Head's, uh, was that his nose? I wasn't paying attention. Um, I believe, is there one more level up? I don't think there is, actually. Yeah, no, I think that actually leads to the top. So, uh, what have I done? I've done the race, I need to, oh, I need to do collecting, so I need to... Yeah, also the thingies are a bit of a jerk. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a lift that keeps going further up, so... Uh, but I believe there's a little tyke. Um, yeah, yeah, you can see this guy over there. He's gonna absolutely ruin my day. Um, oh, I need to get one more coin, because this will save my... Like, my time. Oh, is there actually, like, not another coin up here? Really? There's bound to be a coin, like, down. So... Yeah, you're supposed to get, uh, this disc shooter, this frisbee shooter. I don't know what it is exactly. Um, but it's a rapid fire weapon, which, uh, allows you to take out the boss, so. Uh, yeah, you can jump on top of here. There's an extra life. Oh, there is a coin up here. Okay. Uh, so he's down here. There he is. Thank you for finding my eye. Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. Um, and now I wander back and pick up the other tokens. Um, none of these levels are particularly uh, outstandingly big, except for uh, I would make the case that level 14 is just wider than it has to be. Uh, but the rest of this game is rather approachable, and I don't think there's a, a, like, a huge problem with running this um, to some extent so I'm curious if I can actually like do this all in one sitting um, we'll see we'll see uh, usually I've been dri driving these streams to be less than two hours although the Super Mario Land one was two and a half hours because I was on the last level for 40 minutes so um, so that's good fun um, uh, but at least all the golden suns I did manage to drag a bit lower so uh, but enough meta stream and enough talking about this game in terms of what exactly I'm doing like on the on the stream at the moment. I think uh, I've got my oh no oh, oh no. that's the worst feeling. It goes up the whole way, by the way. So, uh, by the way, the uh, the facial reflection before um, Metroid Prime. How cool is that? I don't care that it's just a picture. A remarkably like low res picture for PS1 as well. Like, all right, so that this puts you up like kind of up here, but not like 100% uh, thingy. So, um, so I'd say a uh, topic of the 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 week would be um I guess like on game preservation and uh, demos. Uh, so that was the recent news of today of the uh, what's the name of the dump? I've it's escaped my brain. But there was a dump of 750 or so, like, PS2 demos. Like, absolutely wreck this guy, by the way. You just, you just shoot these and it's just gonna get them. Uh, although, I think I need a second pickup of these. This guy's actually terrifying. Like, jeez. Why did Disney approve that? Jeez. He's got a, like, frowny face. He comes at you. You got this, like, terrifying music. Um... You think they put more of these in, on the level? Is he actually stuck on geometry? Like, he, he beelines towards you, it's just the freaking look. Oh, wow, really? I ran out of the thingy again. Okay. Nice. 
And tokens in the center, because why not? Um. So. Uh, no and thank you, level. <laughs> I can quit it anyway. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I love the idea of, like, of game preservation. I feel like there's, like, even documenting a game through, through time is always an interesting one, just because, um, like, that's something that you don't, like, or rather, you get a lot with film, but video games, like, because in order to really showcase you playing the game at an older point in time, you have to show design things that ended up not going through. That is a horrendously long load time. Jeez. Uh, by the way, this is one of uh, two levels that I believe you cannot get everything in. Uh, two levels. So I have a quick, fast uh, one that I always go for, and I believe it's the other way. Uh, so I always go for the, the slinky challenge because it's just like, it's it's the one you can get really quick. Pretty sure it's my only idea. Um, so you're going to have to treat this as a level that I technically haven't done um, when I do this. Uh, and the reason is because you need the power up from level 10. Um, when would be the best time to go back for these after level 10? Um, that would be interesting. Because, uh, yeah, you need the level 10 item in order to get... Um, this, so this is a, this is an absolute pain of one, you gotta effectively play Frogger here to get across, and no then, uh, you can kind of tell I'm gonna have to be playing Frogger in order to get the thingy, so here's the guy, he's here. Oh, you don't even have to play for him, you just have to be gutsy. I think that's actually what you're supposed to do. Great. Just be gutsy. No sure. Um, so we'll, we'll see the level later, but for now, to I'm good. Infinity. That's and my beyond. one token, I'm good. Uh, I forgot what the, the, like, the level restrictions are. <laughs> it's a weird clown thing. I'm pretty sure that, like, you can get the secret. But you can't get the the boss and you can't get the the um the ducks. And, and you could probably get the points as well. But like yeah, you can't get those without the, the power, so it's just like yeah, just just do it later. It's so much easier as well if you can just like climb around. Um So here's a boss, it's a poop monster in a trash can. He's just here. Spam the square button. He keeps getting bigger. And you just shoot him down. Is it three stages? No, oh, it seems like five. You're gonna see me just take hits because I think I can probably beat him quicker than uh, and he can uh come at me. Oh really? Thank you. <laughs> All right, one more go. I'm a sad, strange little man. I have my. Oh, does he actually drop the freaking green on you? Nice. So what the green does, by the way, it's like it rapid fires a strong... I don't know if it's always a strong shot. But it, you get to rapid fire by just holding down square, so... I think that'd be at like, some point in the fight. To infinity and, beyond. and he's going to infinity, so he's, he's gone. He's, he's left the, the atmosphere. Um... <laughs> yep, a bit of a bonus movie. So I really do appreciate, um, yeah, kind of encountering games throughout time. There's a few demos that I've definitely tried out. I, I really appreciate the, um, uh, the, uh, I think this is another level. I don't know if I backtracked this one. I think I just backtracked this one just for the, um, you do have to backtrack this one after level 13. Um, but... Yeah, so, so there's a power in here, uh, this is where you get the rocket boots for the previous level, but uh, I already got that. Um, it definitely goes trickier if it's this level.
Uh, but yeah, no, like, I, I really do appreciate, like, games throughout time, uh, in terms of, like, development, because it's very, um, yeah, just, it's interesting seeing what's going on, so I don't know about anything in particular in the dump, um, but I do really appreciate having, like, there's a wide variety of games that are in that, so I'd recommend, uh, just kind of looking up on, online for, like, what are the games that are in, in that dump. Um, I believe they're technically all, uh, readily available to look at. Oh, this is, that's for a chicken up there, isn't it? And you can't even cheese it, yeah. So, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, the boss is down there, isn't it? Yeah. Just doom sound. I died as well. <laughs> so, by the way, that's what dying is. You literally just reappear, you lose a life. It's really not that, like, much of a hassle. Um, I don't think there's a way to necessarily get lives. Like, you don't get lives by picking up, um, coins. It just kind of happens, but... I said there's plenty of lives in the level. It's fine. Um, so yeah, so you come back here with a level 13 item, uh, because you need to kind of make these taller jumps. Um, so that is, that is unfortunate, um, so I think I will need to get all that later. Um, do I call it quits now, or do I try for the rest? I'm not too sure what the actual strat is in this level. Whoop. There we go. I haven't handled that well. I don't know why there's acid on the ground, by the way. Someone put acid in this guy's, like, office. This guy's back office. Um, I, I guess, yeah, in the context of the film, this is the part where they go into Al's toy barn to, uh, find Al. He's just supposed to be here. Um, and in doing so, they accidentally release, uh, a, um, you know, a boxed, uh, Zerg. So this is the race, by the way, which uh, is actually kind of kind of neat because it um, slightly mirrors the uh, falling with style part from uh, the beginning of the first film. Um, so you do that, and you get the chicken. Uh, the chicken is the collectible in this uh, level. Uh, that's what makes me concerned that there's one that's just like in that higher ledge that I can't reach because I've already got the. Um, Yeah, I've already got, like, two tokens already. Uh, if you ask this chicken again, there's a token in there, but you've got, like, half the time. <laughs> like, they do expect a, a perfect run. That being said, it's, uh, quite easy. Um, so, I'm not too fast. Um, yeah, I have the feeling that, like, what I'm doing take too long. Uh, and by the way, that's where the arm is. It's just up there, so... Uh, I think the only thing that I can really do left in the level is to get coins, but... No time to lose. Hey, over here, Maybe I'll try doing it, but... Uh, I'd rather just, like, do the loop of the level instead of... Um, really going for anything too fancy, but... I don't know if this is also the slower way to get coins. Um, definitely those the chickens, but... Uh, I don't know why everything in this level tries to kill you. It's like someone took the idea of like, you know, oh, the toys come to life when the humans aren't looking, and then it's like the... <laughs> the freaking basketballs are out for blood. The skateboards are just sentient. Everything, this guy, is, that's the guy who, uh, you return the, the chickens to. This is probably the worst designed hallway in the game, because you're supposed to push this box down here, but it ends up, like, stopping the hoops, and sometimes you just get hit from the back. But you have to do this push. 
It's... I don't know who did this. We got Monster Hockey, we got Inline Skate, we got Pro Tennis Racket, like... Whoever does the art assets on, like, these storefront, like, levels, like... Man, you guys must have had, like, tough jobs, because freaking, like, no one had any idea, like, you know... What, what, uh, what items do we store on the shelf? Like, I don't know, like, what, what licensed properties do we have access to? That's one thing that was, like, kind of amazing about Toy Story 2. The first one, apart from Mr. Potato Head, had, like, nothing that actually existed. Um... That's just, like, a licensed thing. Uh, the second one... Like... Tons of licensed problems. Uh, the video game... I'm surprised they managed to get Mr. Potato Head. They managed to actually get him. They couldn't even get him for... The, uh... The... That is the saddest thing known to me. Um... They couldn't even get him for the video game. Mr. Potato Head's not even in the video game for the third one, but... Uh, uh, this this level, by the way, it just it just goes. And then the weird part is that like you work away up here anyway. Oh, let me, let me actually see like what this. Yeah, yeah. That's for another chicken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so sad though. Like I've basically done the level except for the one thing I can't actually do. Uh, that was a uh, basically good enough. Um, so the reason why you hit that switch is that it causes this kind of like bucking bronco to go, which just bounces you into where this chicken is. Um, so it's like a, yeah, okay, sure, got it. Um, I think there were two coins lying around, like this trampoline bit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna repeat all of that again just to get the chickens for uh, that run. Maybe I should like skip this level the second time. I think I've got enough coins to to wing it. Uh, the, the next level I can do entirely, so no no uh, skipping around on that. But I guess I can skip that room. To infinity and beyond. Oh. But, uh, that is almost half of the game. Almost. Uh, so, maybe this is a game that I can actually do in two hours. We'll see. So, uh, Owl gets two levels in this game. In fact, actually, he gets a lot of levels in this game. This is our space land, basically, is like, they enter the toy barn, and then, uh, I guess they... The video game decided that there would be this whole space exhibit. So... Yeah, I get this whole space exhibit. Uh, you get these... Uh, this terrifying part of the game here, uh, involving, uh, this drink, which may or may not remind me of the, the Pizza Planet. Um... I guess, like, part of the... the first film. Um... I'm not playing the first game, by the way. I, I legitimately cannot even beat it. I don't... Like... I, I joke about, like, this game being too easy, but that is one that, like, I won't even joke about. That game is hard as nails because like if you die you have to restart the whole like maybe not the whole level but the checkpoints are so like obnoxiously far away uh and that jump is just killer so in that case we'll get this crane game uh take a guess where that is i'm thinking that's probably good Actually, can I jump back? Nope. Thanks. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um, so that's the secret. But you gotta jump into the, the ball pit in the center because there's a, one of the, the five collectibles in there in this case. Uh, you can probably guess what the collectible is. Um, I like these little arcade machines. It's kind of neat. Uh, why all of them are in the Buzz Lightyear universe, I don't know why I can't do that jump. It's it's not a power-up, trust me. It's 
one of the more awkward jumps, I do remember that, but I don't remember uh, me botching it up like twice in a row like that, kind of botching it up. Alright, so you just... There you go. I don't know why that was so hard for me. Uh, and you come over here, and you go into the ball pit, where you kick the balls, and there's a... An alien in it somewhere, there he is. He's just here. Um, why the aliens have to be collected? I think, I don't know, they, I think they make a comment that it's like the mother is upset that they're all gone. Also, I know I said like I'm halfway through the game, but I guess like, you know, consider it halfway when I've got 25 of the tokens, so uh, maybe at the end of this level. It's a more accurate representation of the halfway. Uh, but yeah, this this is an interesting level. I'm not really too sure why um, why it particularly exists, but it's it's all right. Uh, you get to do a bit of climbing uh, because it's not a it's not a. 2000 platform without climbing uh, and awkwardly picking that up without hitting the bottom. Uh, here's a boss. It's Buzz Lightyear in a rover because they can't introduce the fake Buzz in the, in the game otherwise, so here he is. He fires missiles at you. That's how you know he's the advanced one. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? I'm just gonna spin. Spin! Spin, Nella! Got him. Uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, other than that, it's... It's been rather chill. Um... Uh, I guess, I guess, yeah, the, uh, the elephant in the room, uh, is that if you are a, uh, New South Wales resident of right now, these guys are weak to spinning, by the way, just, I don't know why particularly they're weak to spinning, uh, but they are, um, oh, do you go right here or do you go left first? I think you actually go right first. I think you want to go right first. Alright. I'm trying to guess where the, um, where Ham is and where the person expecting the aliens is. Um, so, I know this is the one where you race, and I'm thinking... Oh, the aliens is at the end, I don't know why I'm thinking that. Okay. Uh, so this is an interesting race because it's uh, based around the zip lines. So effectively you try and jump when you're about at the red part. Uh, it's not the most accurate, we'll say, but sure. As long as you can, like, kind of do it, you're doing okay. Uh, there's a lot of enemies on the... Yeah, what's the elephant in the room being a New South Wales uh, resident? Oh, uh, yeah, so if you, if you live in, um, and, and sorry, not New South Wales in particular, but, like, the, the Greater Sydney area, uh, we got these massive, like, hit a rain recently um and like 150 mil rainfall uh on uh like saturday morning and it was like pretty pretty brutal i'm definitely like i i'm lucky i'm in an area which doesn't really like it's not it doesn't suffer from floods but i do have a lot of friends that have just got like absolutely wet backyards right now they like it's just like you know I wouldn't say knee-high, but it's, it's definitely like, you know, it's, it's puddles that you could sink your feet into. Um, and that's not, that's not great, so. Uh, this is the use of the power-up, by the way. Here's a aisle that's just the Buzz Lightyear's and the Zerg toys are shooting each other. I'm not 100% sure the context for this is. Uh, you can't really get out, and I think I should have taken the high road anyway. Oh wait, I guess the high road's here. Am I missing? Yeah, maybe. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's a bit of a, a spooky time. Maybe not a spooky time because I don't. I like 
I, I, I was thinking like, okay, so news articles are saying like, this is a one in a hundred like year occurrence. And I'm thinking, does that mean like, I should never experience this in my lifetime ever again? Like, it's definitely, it's not great. A lot of people, you know, have, there are some people whose homes have been destroyed. I don't think that like, absolutely meant many, at least not compared to like bushfires. Bushfires definitely cop a lot more houses and stuff. Um, I have not seen any reports of anyone dying, which is always a plus. Um, but it's definitely one where, like, you know, being uh, a more, like, you know, rural guy, sorry, urban guy, sorry, wrong, wrong side, um, being a more urban guy in the Sydney area, you know, you always feel like, oh, like, you know, what happens? Uh, I've got all five. Nice. I'm just, like, counting off the top of my head. Like, oh, I think all of these. Um, being a more urban guy, you don't really think of yourself being in these parts that can be affected by, uh, you know, like, sudden, um, I guess this would be a natural disaster to some degree, but, um, uh, but it's, you know, it's something that can happen. So it's definitely one where, yeah, like, I've got my, I've got my kind of, like, you know, heart out to anyone who has experienced, um, you know, like, damage or, uh, possibly Mayday. injury, Mayday. Possibly Send reinforcements. Um, Command, do you copy? about this, so, uh, this boss, you basically shoot it and it spawns an enemy. Agent of Sir, if I ever saw it. I think you have to actually kill the enemy. Or do you? Maybe you don't. I'm not too sure. I guess let's try and experiment right now. That's the whole point. This is speedrun investigation. You good, boss? I don't know. But you can obviously tell there's only going to be so many times you got to hit this, this boss before he pops it. This is 100% the worst camera in the game right now. Yeah, he is copping it until I guess this guy dies. Uh, so, yeah, that's definitely one, um, and, and an interesting one, because, yeah, the bushfires, at least in New South Wales, my friend has been staying indoors for the way. Yeah, it's definitely one where, like, yeah, if you can stay indoors, like, um, I mean, I, I guess, like, I say if you can stay indoors, but, like, it doesn't seem like it's gonna really come back. It's more, more at least, for the time being, but it's definitely one where, like, yeah, it, it's spooked people. And here I am playing right now with, with uh, mobile internet because my, my MDN got knocked out. So, um, but only like today. Like hours before I started streaming. So, will it come back? Probably, but typical. Yeah, I, it's, that's just, that's just MDN, really. Um, thank you, thank you Aussie Broadband for uh, at least alerting me, um, like having the automatic checks to kind of figure out that my internet has actually died um, about an hour uh, after it actually happens. Um, that's the boss. It's at least more of a boss Ooh, than uh, than any Beyond. other boss in this game, I guess. Um, but not too much of a boss, I guess. Uh, I had Optus before Aussie Broadband, and it's a whole lot of difference between how, how they care about you. 100% like legit. Um, like if if i if it, like i am amazed at how like good the um the services with with Aussie broadband i like how responsive the app is and how good it like works at at least diagnosing you know helping you diagnose what's a problem with your network before they have to get involved and then if they have to get involved like they're able to kind of like run through the steps they're able to like really be open about what is their responsibility, what is NBN Co's responsibility, and not just like, here I am, like, I will help fix your modem, have you turned it on and off? Uh, I like the stock. Oh, yeah, exactly. How, how is the stock doing since I went public? Uh... So, in, in the context of the game, this is now, uh... Uh, they basically run across the road, uh, from Al's Toy Barn into his apartment complex, uh, where they will now ride up the lifts and try and get to, uh, 
get to Al. Uh, you have to be very careful because the rats are on the wall in this level. Uh, I believe this is my favorite level. I think I kept mentioning this is my favorite level. Um, and the reason it's my favorite is because it's got that wonderful verticality. Probably the more than any other level. I also appreciate it just forces you into getting... Um, uh, into getting um, uh, this player head there. So, uh, so the gimmick with this feature is that yeah, you have to grapple your way. So you, you scope in and you can use a grappling hook. It is not a weapon per se, and it's a little disappointing in that regard. But it's nice that it is like something a bit different. Um, this is the uh, item that you will use on level five. Ah, fire! <laughs> um, so I guess the Aussie broadband stock keeps going up, like. I'm, I'm amazed they're actually doing like that uh, remarkably well when they started going public, but like, yeah, I mean, the, the classic thing of if you have a good service, like, you know, it's hard to, to really complain. And they do their best, yeah. Um, thank you for telling me that there's a mouse right there. Appreciate it. There you go. Uh, part of the mode is literally no, no bullshit. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I do like that. Um, I, it's actually really surprising that um like you'll you'll hear um american uh internet service and like they're always locked into like one or two uh services and it's just like it sounds like you know absolute hell there because it's just like you're in an area only one guy's providing you internet and like if he sucks that's it and it's like all oh, my internet sounds like well, are you gonna pay anyone else no exactly here in australia i feel like there's a much better um, kind of climate because you know, there is a great risk that suddenly I will not pay Optus, I will pay Aussie uh, Broadband, I'll pay um, you know, Superloop, I'll pay any, any other kind of company to provide me my internet. Um, yes, that 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 is that is the flip side. I would really appreciate getting 400 down on gigabit. Uh, I am actually I'm kind of lucky. I am in a gigabit spot, but I only I only um pay for a uh, hundred down 20 up plan um because for my needs that's basically it um would i actually get gigabit probably not uh here's a checkpoint whirlwind by the way which i will definitely be using one of these um later in the level uh here's a puzzle uh guess what the puzzle is uh the puzzle is trying to get this mouse before i go insane he's it's just it's just up there like he's, he's, he's just it's just there. Mm, let me get to him. Let me get him. I just realized that. Like, no help. There we go. Uh, so the puzzle is uh, you press the button and it makes one go up and it makes the other go down. Uh, you have to recognize that uh, they're a little bit offset. So you actually want uh, to double hit this one and then to effectively push that one down and push that one down to make them all center. That opens no up the main door down here. Uh, which is the secret. Uh, and then here's the fun pain of the level. So you've got these two uh, lifts. They go up. Uh, I feel like you've played this game before. I have played this game before. Um, I've played this game a couple of times on my uh, YouTube channel. And I've uh, definitely... I, I've owned this game since I was like four. Um, way old game. Um, so my goal with today is that I'm going to try and play through the entirety of the game uh, in a two-hour block, uh, but I don't know if I can actually do it in two hours, so I'm going to try my best. You don't want to uh, be in the way when my laser goes. The mouse, at some point, I don't quite realize where the mouse is. Uh, I think it was somewhere down there. I'll spot it later. <laughs> uh, so once you reach the top of the lifts, you got to watch out for these weird, like, spiky pylon things that are just in the way. Uh, twirl your way up and head on over to a boss. Best of luck, I've been lurking since we're in the backyard level and we're fine. Thanks, man. Um, uh, you don't even lose, like, your power-up. This is the one part that I hate about this fight. It's like, what is, what's happening here? And he even drops a coin, like, that's how much. <laughs> so, uh... So yeah, there's that, uh, and now if I drop down, I want to drop on top of this. 
So the race is over on this side where the daddy mouse here is like, yo, if you can like grab this pizza plant token, then sweet, cool. Hurry up, you're taking time. Uh, so you gotta go, wee. And this is the, uh, the princess secret slide. And you gotta bear this ridiculous like jumping. It just feels so off because like you lose track of like where down is on these like vents. Um, so something like you're trying to do this jump and then it's like you're hitting the ceiling. You're like, oh jeez. Uh, but it's not too bad with the practice. Uh, the annoying part is that if you fall, you fall back into any of the earlier like parts of the levels. Uh, and I hate that part. By the way, the thing is not like accessible for a bit. Um, there's two of these things, and I don't think I activated this one. I did not activate that one. Nice. Cool. Alright, so, yeah, there's two of these vents to get back up to the top of the level. Uh, this one is back into the room with the switch and the mice and all that stuff. Um, which I guess is fine, because I do need to work my way up here. Um. I do need two more coins. Uh, that's where the mouse is. You don't want to be in the way when Wish me luck. Go. He moved, he moved, he moved. Mmm. He's making this hard for me. He's making this hard for me. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get through this game as quick as possible. And he's just... He's just ruining it. He's ruining it. Uh, I think the other mouse is kind of near the top, so... Uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> there you go. Got it. Um, these lifts also... I'm not too sure what the... The actual like design of this is because like you've got these like flat bits which I'm jumping on, but the lifts seem to only go up like two stories. Uh, no time to lose. So it's a it's a bit of a confusing level design. Um, you just kind of have to know that like okay, well you got to ride like this lift up all the way. It does go up a fair bit. And then you gotta just like swap over when the time's right. Like now's the, the right time. And then you gotta hope that this one gets near the top, even though I'm not on the top level of of this one. Um, so I, don't I, I know the there's another point there, there, but oh, do I do I go for it? I'll go for it. I know there's a uh, oh, there's not even another point there. Jeez. Okay, shot me here. All right. Uh, can I get up to the top? Nope. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Uh, so I've got the I've got the race. I've got the boss. I've got the secret. So now all I need is uh, the the mouse and then deliver the coins. And I yeah I believe the mouse is right up there. So let's get the mouse. Uh, oh, there you go. I might go activate that just for funsies, but. I don't need it at all. Instead, I'm gonna drop myself off in here. This is probably the tallest, like, drop of the game. <laughs> it's great fun. I love it. Here's this pizza plant token. Thank you. Appreciate it. Got it. Cool. I'm gonna keep playing as lovely. Drop down to the bottom. I believe it was this direction. So... There we go. Uh, these are, like, electric... Like... pauses. <laughs> actual like power depot for the lift and it's got like electric water down the bottom because of course it does um i got this uh that's cool uh so that's 30 of the game's um 50 tokens i don't think i'm gonna beat two hours we'll see but uh i i, I feel confident enough that i can probably finish the game in one sitting so that's fair enough. Uh, so let me go back to this level because I've got the I've got the grapple, so it's all it's all fair game from now now on. Uh, so I think the best thing to do is for me to I hate these boxes. By the way, they just take their time. I believe you can actually like farm the the coins here. So I guess any level of these you can probably get infinite coins if you really wanted to. To try out. Um, do I have my uh, my phone constantly vibrating next to the 
next to the mic, by the way. That's that's great fun. Let me just like yeet, yeet that. Don't need that. Um. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. yeah. I don't really particularly have any other, like, big topics. Um, I think there's things in the world happening that are just like, you know, is anything gained by mentioning them? Like, uh, you know, when people get upset about certain things, I'm just like, mm, like you know, if no one talks about it, it just blows over. Like, just, just let people think of their own controversies. And, for the most part, it blows over. It sucks when something happens and you feel like it's a bit of an injustice. But it's also like it's the internet. Like, not, not a it's the internet, who cares, but an internet, like... No time to lose. You know, things get amplified by traffic and algorithms. And as long as you don't really contribute towards those algorithms, like, you can effectively just stop things from, from being, you know... Being supposedly trans. I have botched up the frogger. I botched up the frogger so bad. Fortunately, there's this to help me eat my way back out. Uh, you have to go in here because that's where one of the ducks is. Um, I don't have to do the 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 um the the dog runs again, so that's okay. Uh, I'm probably just gonna drop down again. So nice. Also, I guess yeah, this is a level that contains two power-ups. It does not really need those rocket boosters at all, but they're there, I guess. Uh, so I guess the next thing is the painful part of the level, which is all this like grappling stuff above me. People are just gonna take it, that's how they take it. I just avoid it best I can. That is a very healthy way of taking things. I I swear. I, I definitely if if anything, I like saw the outrage on, on my uh, Twitter timeline. Or rather, I saw the outrage to the outrage on my Twitter timeline. I'm just like, man, you know, like, like I'm just seeing that, man. Like, that's all I'm getting. Right? Like, I think there's a certain degree of like, yeah, like some people are idiots and you know, maybe we can laugh about it, but you know, at, at what point is there something to gain? Um, that's something I'm, I'm enjoying about um using a uh, Mastodon a bit, uh, not a sponsored spot because I don't think they or any sponsorships, but um, I definitely kind of like like just alternative platforms just because like people will talk about different things and people like like Mastodon's a place where like there's no algorithmic you know bias on like what you see everything kind of just feels like it's either I don't know if it's necessarily based driven by a rating system or like by your like your, your likes retweets but uh, they're definitely driven by time and time seems to be the best gauge for what kinds of content you should see. Is it new? Here you go. Is it old? You can scroll up and find it eventually. Um, and so, and, and on top of that, like, it's, it's got people who uh, legitimately post things, whether they're maybe spam sometimes, but... Um, so here's the, the tough part of the level, by the way. Uh, you have to use the grappling hook and then balance your way on these railings. I am currently using a D-pad. Oh, I guess, I guess I can kind of cheese it a little bit to do this. Uh, don't let the electric catch you as well. Um, but it's definitely good fun when the camera like chases you around like that. Um, so uh, it's, it's probably the most perilous like part of the the game, actually the whole the whole game. Um, you don't want to be in the way when my laser. You definitely got a lot of like shortcuts, but if you fall off the, the building and or off the, the railing entirely, you just you know, you're fallen, you're gone. So uh, it's definitely a tough part of the game, uh, and it's locked behind the level 10 item. So not only is it painful, but it's also painful, and no one quite shares your pain. Um, Well, it's the average person who plays this game isn't going to know that that's going to, like, you know, hit you. Uh, one of the ducks is here, so that's why I was like, oh, you got you to get that later, like, that kind of stuff. Um, I think I just got to, like, work my way back over there without touching the electric. 
Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, enemy, for being a pain in the butt. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. I hate this jump. I hate this. I think it's because the shadows in the game don't really help. Oh my gosh, I have done this, haven't I? <laughs> I, I have proceeded to do that. I see the grapple and I just didn't actually do it. Alright. It's still going, by the way, this, this, um, this climbing, but it's almost done. It's almost done. Uh, did I say almost? I meant not quite. Not at all. Where does that even go? I guess I have to go that way. But nice. Cool. Oh, yeah, it actually gets worse than mine. Oh, no, you've got to be kidding me. Do you know what I got to do now? The whole thing all over again. There's, there's a checkpoint box there, but I watch that up. I don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. And, and also, like, how much of a checkpoint is that really? Memories make me want to go back. Okay, can I just... Okay. <laughs> Can I shortcut that? Can I jump that? No. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. I'm not, I'm not making this look like it's a, it's a clean. Oh, this is the check one as well, right here. Is it here? Yeah, it was here. That's where the box is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you push that so that you can now climb up to like this halfway point. But this is like, this is the easy halfway. None of the hard stuff's here. So. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely felt that, like, you know, it, it's, it's healthy to have, you know, some internet presence and internet kind of interaction, I feel. Um, you don't have to have an internet <laughs> interaction necessarily, but I, like, it doesn't have to be social media. It can just be whatever. It can be, you know, Twitch chat. It can be, uh, you know, YouTube comments. It can be... Uh, Reddit, if you're one of those kinds of people who still uses Reddit, like, uh, anything's kind of fair game. Uh, okay, so which one's the last, the closest one so I don't jump on that when it goes? Okay, there we go. There we go. And, uh, yes, there's another grapple spot there, which just leads to a life. Don't be that guy who goes to the life. You don't need it. As I go over here, there is a duck. But don't be the guy who just ditches the the top level. <gasps> you mm, just jump straight through the the thing. Oh, this this is probably the time sink. This is probably where all the time disappears from people's runs. You gotta go over here, and then just to really really cop it, you gotta do a jump. You gotta jump. It, it's just just it keeps going. Up. Once you're in, there's a top monster. That's not really too sure, like, where the huge difficulty in the fight is, I guess. Me being able to aim. Yeah, 
gets me to do that as well. Cool. Uh, that and falling from the tree in the backyard. Yeah, oh, the tree in the backyard, um, like, can be quite painful. I think it's a little more okay just because it's shorter, you don't have as many, like, narrow ledges to hold on to, but it's definitely, like, I'd say those two are, like, combined just, like, the more annoying parts of the game. Like, I, I praise this game for its verticality. I absolutely hate this game for some of its verticality. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little overboard, and especially for a game that, like, only has a double jump. Um, the double jump is great. It saves you in a lot of, a lot of situations. It's not perfect. Um, so, uh... Die, boss. Okay. Uh, I am not gonna game over, by the way, and if I do, then that will be an absolute tragedy amongst men. Um, so, here's token number four. I just need to get the, the ugly ducklings and then come back to the base. So, I believe how you do this is that you want to climb up here. Uh, upload this to low poly fruit, by the way, because that's uh, just wonderful textured fruit. Uh, these are walkie bars. I don't know why, but sure. Uh, the discs are here. I think so you can take out that guy without just like touching him, but like... I'm not really sure what it's in. Oh, what are you playing this on? I am playing this on uh, the uh, Nathan, or I guess it's called Beetle now. Uh, but that emulator on uh, RetroArch. It's done me wonders for playing any old PS1 game, so I greatly appreciate it. Um, I do own this on actual hardware, but I just don't feel like playing it on actual hardware. Um, I guess I'm playing the US version right now, but I'm really not too sure about the, um, the regional differences. Um, so... Neat. If I jump over here, isn't the duck like no on top? Yeah. There you go. I get a very crap of the rapid vibe with this level. I need to go to the toilet or something. Okay. So once you get that, then you need to hop on a balloon. Watch out for these enemies. They are going to absolutely mess me up. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Uh, awkwardly, you can move this box towards there if you want the disc, but it actually serves as your uh, recovery part right now. I guess that's where the pizza plant token is. Okay. Uh, and I believe the other duck is just down here in the, the back water. Uh, there is a life. Do I go for the life? I might as well just go for the life. Um, but no, yeah, I, I definitely say, like, if you, uh, and, and as, as someone who's just like, yep, like, you know, games are worth playing, and especially a lot of older ones, uh, like, don't let people scare you with emulator stuff, Retroarch's re reasonably easy to set up, uh, this was just literally download, you know, you download Retroarch, you download the core, uh, you legally obtain the uh, PlayStation 1 BIOS from somewhere, and put it in your system folder, and then you legally obtain the ROM, or you pop it into your CD drive. If you still have a computer that has a CD drive, um, it's not an unheard of thing, but definitely one where fewer cases do have five and a quarter inch bays. It's just, it's just not as common in the current now. Um, and uh, then, yeah, you just you boot her up and away you go. And it... You know, allows you to easily use whatever Ooh, controller you want. Uh, I always and legally dump my own BIOS and legally dump my own ISOs. You know, Godspeed, man. Like, that's that's the good stuff. I definitely, um, like, you know, whatever any of these companies who are just like, oh, emulation's bad, or rah, 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 rah. It's like, here's a game that I have no idea if this will ever exist on any other platform. Like, it actually could disappear. I, th I think maybe it's on, um... Oh, sorry. I don't know if it's on the PS3, like if they ever re-release it on the PS3. I think they might have. They might have. I'm not too sure if they did. Um, do I remember where anything is in this level? Uh, I think the ear was... The ear? No, there's no um, thingy on this level. <laughs> 
This was my favorite part of this level. So you now you work your way up into Owl's penthouse. He's got these weird, like, uh, I always call them Mexicans. Yeah, so someone, someone commented and just said, like, like, ten seconds into this one video, uh, that I made, like, I think it was the third time I did this. Um, and then it said, like, this is the greatest thing you've said out of context, and it was basically, like, they let Mexicans into the F1, which is just, like, ah, yes, yes, um, it was in reference to those enemies, but it's, it's one that, yeah, like, yep, I'm, I'm just gonna be very careful with my words from now on. Uh, so what you do here is you press these buttons, and, uh, it floods the bathroom up to that point. Uh, this game is remarkably... Like, neat. And then you press the- this is just for this level. Uh, <laughs> exactly! Exactly! This is- this is your typical Sydney- Sydney uh, bathroom right now. Uh, so you press these buttons, floods it, you press the red ones, they break the turrets. The turrets are just there to pester you, there's not really anything too big with those, but, um... Yeah, and then you just, uh, you just jump across. Uh, 50 a week, by the way. Uh, Sydney houses just always are like that. And then you got these weird funny things. Uh, the bathroom conveniently drains the moment you try and enter this tube, such that they don't have to do any of the water effects once you leave the room. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, was the button on the platform? No, it's just a coin. I think the button's at the top here. Uh... So, uh, this is a pretty stock standard level, I don't think there's anything like too annoying with it, but I do remember that like it's got the kind of annoying uh, train part later, which I'll show off when I get to that. Uh, and that's, that's a typical like, I don't think there's anything in this game that's even like a run killer perhaps, just because like none of these levels are like too long, um, but I guess also like given how rather easy the game is, uh, any kind of huge error like doing that. Um, it's probably a bit of a run killer in the sense of like it just ruins your time that rather than actually making the run impossible to do. Um, people who speedrun games that like legitimately can lock or like you know prevent their progress like that's the that's the real like tough stuff. I don't know like you know, I, I I'm not that crazy like to run a oh my gosh I'm not that crazy to run a game that does that. Uh, people who play Minecraft. Like, legitimately try and speedrun, like, random seed Minecraft. Like, that is absolutely, like, gnarly work. Because you don't know what you're even expecting. And a lot of the runs end up being trash. Spyro the Dragon speedruns that rely on a completely RNG, uh, rat proxy. Uh, oh, is this, like, um, near the end of the, the game? Where there's, like, a... Uh, actually, no, there's probably a few levels where there's the rats. I do remember there's like, there are some like proxy jumps you gotta do in that game, and it's just like, there's a lot of crazy things. I don't know why that's the ball there. Uh, do I remember where all the horseshoes are here? Uh, not really, but you only get 20 seconds, so how many horseshoes are there really? I don't think there's too many. I think there's one on the couch, and then there's one on the table, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we- Oh, the, the Nasties World Clip! Yeah, 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 that's- that's the one. Um, and that's a tough one, because it's like, if you botch that up, you basically just gotta, like, unload and go back in, don't you? Um... I think, like, this is a Bo Peep thing, and Bo Peep's on top of... Or Jesse's on top of there, okay, so I'll come in there last. Um... Ah, oh, this was a fun one as well. You got this box in here. Yeah, you gotta die in the water and try again. Yeah, that's that's probably the quickest way to do it. Um, that's definitely a tough one. Um, it, it, it's such a such a um, gnarly skip, but it's it's a hundred percent one that's just like you're so late into a run. Um, at least at least a, uh, I guess if you run one hundred twenty percent, like you don't have to do that. You have to go into uh, the levels, but. Uh, yeah, if you're doing, if you're doing any percent. What's, like, the, the any percent record? Isn't it, like, 30 minutes? Like, it's at least short enough that it's not, um, absolute worse if you do cop it. This is supposed to be a bed. I don't know. Uh, so, this puzzle 
is a bit of an interesting one. You press these buttons and it uh, spins the train around, uh, or rather it flips the track such that the train can be on another track. Your goal is to get the train uh, to the other end. 38 minutes 14. Yeah, okay, that's not that's not the absolute worst, um, like, for, for a run to, like, full-on, like, practice, but it's definitely one where, like, you know, like, here's something that saves several minutes near the end of the run, and then it's like, yeah, it's all RNG, so that's good. Uh, so you want the train coming in on the right path here, um, on, or I guess, like, the path closest to the wall here. So, I guess, the easiest thing is just to follow the path and then go, where's the train about to end up? Uh, so he's about to end up on the left, and I want him to come all the way over there on the left side now. Uh, so if I ground pound that, that flips it over no with that. Um, which is not necessarily what I want, because I want him on the left part. So he's going to be on the left, and he's going to be on the right. And then I guess we'll see what's going on. And he's not really going to be on the right, is he? I get it. No, he's gone center right now. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes. I do that, which I guess puts him onto the middle. So now, how does he get to the middle? He's got to be on the right here, uh, which means I gotta. That's, that's just good fun. Alright, so now he's on the right, now he's gonna be in the center. Uh, which means he's gonna be on the left here, which means he's gonna come around the center, so that's the left. Get him on the, room, the far side. Puts him into the center. Train, come around. I don't know how you do this bit, like, properly. Oh, did I do it? I did it. Yeah, okay, nice, I did it. So the reason why you do this is so that you can push that box. Oh, oh yes, okay. The reason why you do that is so you can push this box all the way without having the box, like, jam you. I know, it's, it's, it's a bit weird. Um, honestly, I don't know why they even make me do this. Uh, <laughs> yep. Perhaps this is the run killer for 100, 100, uh, for 50 tokens in this game. It's only the 50 tokens, by the way. I don't even think there's like any, any extra collectibles in this game. And if there is, wow, you hit those. I know the, uh, the A Bug's Life game, also by Traveler's Tales, actually has, like, some almost debug room kind of, like, secrets that are just, like, rather obscure, although I did randomly trigger one in one of my Let's Plays and be like, what had just happened? Like, I just opened something, and then it also exited the level, which was great fun, so I thought it was a legitimate guilt, uh, glitch, but no, it was actually, like, that's, that's the game, and I found out there were more secrets like that, um, so... Uh, I believe this game also does have retro achievements, achievements if you're one of those people who, um, who plays on that, uh, that site, which is great. I, I really love that site. It's good fun. Um, I should really get back into playing some games on that. Um, maybe I should just, like, pick up the achievement of the week. Toy Story and the Bugs Life are some of the best platforms on PS1. Um, they're definitely quite good. I wouldn't necessarily, uh, say one of the best just because there's a lot of platforms on the PS1. Um... But they are very, very competent. Like, if there's one thing with this game, I don't have too many things to really pick on it. I love the level variety. Um, I love the kind of, uh, I said this at the beginning of the stream, I love the, the macro, kind of just like, everything is like, large. It's just like, that's just a fun concept to play with. And they really like, they really take it around this game. So I like that. 
Which games did you think are better? Um, I, I would definitely say the Spyro games are better kind of collectathon platformers. I do really enjoy Crash 3. Uh, Crash 2 is actually my personal favorite out of the bunch, so I'll go with that one. Um, I've played Klonoa, um, which is good fun. I I would probably say there's more... Um, there's more 3D platformers as well. So I'm just, it's more that I'm hesitant in calling. Uh, I played uh, all of them on, on PC. Uh, I have played Tomb Raider 1 on the PS1 version, which is probably the most brutal one to play on the PS1 because you've got those uh, those fixed save uh, checkpoints rather than the, the save crystals that you can then freely use at some point later on. Uh, or in fact, I think 2's just got like a quick save mechanic, which um, RAM saves. Which is just like, it's all you need. I'm really bad at this. I'm really bad at this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just not doing, not, not feeling it at that very, at very moment. Um, I, four is my personal favorite, but I would really like to replay four. I replayed uh, one through three and I, I do really like one just for its simplicity there. Um, two's great just because it's like, yeah, it's more of the same. I think three, it's a little, uh, um, uh, a little uh, hard to, to play. It jumps in the shoe lamp. Yeah, the shoe lamp. Um, three, three's a little interesting. I think four. I like like the one theme, uh, the one kind of you know. Uh, great boss, by the way. Ooh, ooh, is that a double sequence break? Probably not. Uh, where was Han on this level? He was in the the bath. That's where he was. Uh, not in the shower. This is an interesting thing. His bath is like, you know, uh, like into the ground. It's depressed into the ground. That's that's a new one. I, I usually like see the bath just be like it, it sits, um, you know, within the room. Um, at least like the floor of the bath is usually the floor of the room, just so you're, like you're stepping over a bath like area rather than like and it's an actual like climb out. Um, so that, that's more of a pool than a, than a bath of anything. Uh, and then, yeah, this is the kitchen. Uh, shoot the lock. Uh, he's got beer, milk, probably, cheese, probably. Um, I believe the last rabbit is just, like, higher up in this room. Uh, over here, bud! Over here, bud! It's the worst shrieking, like, I don't know, who did Jesse's voice for this? Absolutely, like... Hilarious. I love it. Don't ruin this for me, bud. I don't think there's really a point in even breaking any of those. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the, the first level just because, like, she's on the, the kitchen counter, but it's... There you go. So Who done with the level. So what is that? Thirty nine now, and I'm at one hour forty three. I'm not hitting two hours on the stream, unless unless I hit like you know I do this in like twenty six minutes. It could be done. Uh, someone is messaging me on Discord. Thank you for sending me memes. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, jeez. I had some wicked wings earlier, and I'm definitely feeling the uh, the repercussions on on, uh, on my stomach. But it's all good. It's all good. Um, so obviously, as your level 12 boss, you have to fight the evil Emperor Zerg, who's not even the the final boss of the film. Who is the final boss of the film? Uh, well, you don't have to see, but they introduced the Zerg guy. I love how he's not even in the first film. Like, he is the antagonist. I'm not too sure if they introduced Zerg, uh, already, but, uh, how do you, how do you find him? Oh, you spin him, that's what you do, yeah. 
And just gotta wait for him to come back down. And you can just like deflect everything. Come on. He takes his time though because he's gotta come back down. You don't have a, a great strat to kind of getting him, but... And he also floats. I think that's the key thing to note. Compared to the film, he floats. Now, like, it's a game, like, sure, you know, like, take some, take some artistic liberties to... Thank you, thank you. I wish you could spin in the air. You do this, I guess, to hit him in the air. You gotta, you gotta bear being dizzy. And then he falls. He falls. He's been flying this whole time, and he just falls anyway. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a, it's a crazy one. It's a crazy one. Uh, so a bonus movie. Yeah, what's, what's the, the thingy? So that, that's the poster. I don't know why they introduced the, the evil buzz in the, um, uh, in the, um, the videos. But yeah, in the game, like, I guess he's that little, that little boss that I fought. And that's that, so. Um, so here's level 13. This is the level that I mentioned the Mexicans in the airport. Um, there he is. <laughs> like, you literally start the level. There he is. I do really like this level. I'm not too sure what's with the Lego floor. But... You know, airport levels are cool. It's a shame that a certain event happened rather soon after this game came out. Uh, which prevented people from exploring the concept of things happening in airports. Um... Are we at that time that we can start, like, doing that? I feel like there's enough media of, like, things happening in there. I guess Modern Warfare 2 happened, so... Pff, anything's on the table now. Oh, that's not the one. You gotta wait for the green one. You ready? Or is it teal? Is this... Uh, I'm pretty sure you, you get a... You get a... One that you can ground pound on. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. I don't know why it's 50 million X-Ray machines. Here's what I don't understand as a Gen Z person. Uh, they have all these X-Ray machines and all this stuff to like stop people from doing like crazy stuff on flight. But this was before a certain bad event that prevented people from, you know, you know depicting uh, bad things happening in airports. What exactly happened in that certain event? That's something I'm curious about. Um, I think, do I need the ability to continue going here? I think I'm actually cool going up here. And then I just need to make sure I've got the, got the thingy, but I should be fine. Um, so, yeah, so this level, it's kind of vertical. They smuggled box cutters onto the... Oh, did they? Uh, I, I never really, like, looked into exactly, like, how that all happened, but yeah, uh, that's, man, that's a toughie, that's a toughie, but that's, like, before they had the pat down, did they? They had the, um, the personal metal detectors, and that was kind of it, so, if you're able to, to get something past, like, people, I bet you, like, someone could pay off someone to just let you bring them on, at that time, at least, nowadays, it's like, you know. Is this how I get on a no-fly list? I joke about airport security. In America, you pay the, you can pay the TSA and get reduced screening to honest star. That seems really odd, though. That, like, you can pay money to get screened less. You obviously can't, like, not get screened. But 
That, that just seems rather bizarre, like... It's the US, I guess, anything goes. Um... Is that the appropriate jump that I'm supposed to make? I guess it is. It- that feels a little odd. Security theater, exactly. Exactly. You know, that, that, I, I guess there's a certain uh, value to, you know, giving the presence of uh, being secure. Like, you know, because I, I, I guess, you know, shortly after the event that prevented people from joking about airport security, um, the, you know, I, I would imagine a lot of people would be afraid to fly. Airport companies be like, uh, what do we do? How do we, how do we get people wanting to fly again? And I guess, yeah, the presence of a safe, comfortable flight where everything goes well all the time is probably the way to do it. Um, is it necessarily, like, the best way? Uh, we'll see. You're obviously copping a bit of that into your airfare, though. Uh, so here's another race challenge. Uh, this one, you gotta pick up the dumbbells. I am a dumbbell. We're wanting to pick all of these up. Uh, do I know where all of these are? Not particularly. I think they're further up though, aren't they? Well, get to me. Don't want to end on this. Uh, but the lines before security uh, are more of a target now. Uh, definitely. I, I've definitely heard of a, a case uh, where it's like, yeah, like people attack... Um, yeah, the queue leading into, leading into a, um, a certain hot area. Um, so yeah, I, oh, is the dumbbell, like, around here? Oh, it totally is. I think the other dumbbell is, um, further back the other way, because it's definitely not around this corner, is it? No, Rex is right. Are you going to complete the game with all 50, uh, tokens? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try and do it. Um, so I'm already at 40, or 39, I think, so, um, yeah, I basically just gotta beat this, or I guess, yeah, uh, no, I'm at 39, yeah, um, so I'm gonna try and do that, um, the stream will be slightly longer than usual, but I feel like, you know, hey, I can, I can do this, I'm not, like, too far off, uh, I was half planning to do this in, in two streams, uh, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, no, I, I definitely do agree that, like, um, airports need to be very cautious on, um, well, I guess the problem is that, like, an airport is such an indiscriminate target. Like, I don't think really that many people have beef with airports in particular, but it's just the fact that, like, there's only so many airports, and there's a lot of people catching flights. Like, that's that's the biggest problem with that kind of stuff. Um, and that's one where, like, you know, no matter what, like, that will be a problem. Uh, which one uh, from the previous levels are you missing? I'm missing the level 7 uh, one for collecting all five thingies. Um, so I, I, I didn't quite realize that, yeah, like, I really need to do that level later. Um, because, yeah, if you can't do the collect five thingies... Uh, you know, what can you do? Um, if anything, I just want the skid to be nicer. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely feel, I mean, it's not a, it's not a great job. I can understand, like, you know, why you'd be very upset. And also, like, me as a person, like, I would be kind of grumpy, you know, kind of going like, hey, some guys give me the pat down, give me the, 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 the laser thing. And then, like, you're constantly interacting with people who really don't like you doing your job. It's... It's one where, like, yeah, you, you know, if you don't like doing your job, or you work with people who don't like you doing your job, it's just a, not a healthy environment. Uh, but that's one where, uh... Oh, you need a flying shoot from this level? I will, yes. Uh... You gotta let this thing bounce, don't you? it goes. Uh, I get it, but no one makes them take the job. Oh, exactly, exactly. Like, yeah, the, the, the sudden saying of, like, if you do a job, do it well, like, no matter what. Um, and I, I, I feel like, you know, someone has to do it, but it seems that that just seems to attract people who don't really... Yeah, thanks for the follow, man. 
Um, yeah, that's definitely his mouth. I, I believe the dialogue, he just goes like, mm, 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 at you. He doesn't, like, say anything. So, good on them for at least following through on that. Uh, Alright, this, this is the fun part. You gotta watch out for, for an actual jet engine. Uh, oh, you need the, the boots anyway to continue up here. Or do you? No, you do. Uh, well, I might as well try and make the jump over there, uh, somehow. I don't think I can, actually. <laughs> I'll just commit. Uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head where the other, um, tikes are, but I think I remember... There's one in the room over here, there's one back near the starting area, and then there's two in, in that room. Uh, over here, oh, exactly, yeah. That's how you know where they are, they're just, they're just screaming out, but they know. Looks like we got ourselves Thank you for finding my mouth, have the boots. Uh, so the boots are the last power-up in the game. Uh, you come over here, you get the boots, and you hold down X, and you can hover, like, so far above the ground. Um, you can use them to effectively kind of glide your way around. Uh, nice. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. There's no other boots around here, is there? Yeah, okay, nice. Uh... Yeah, it... you basically just kind of, you know, elevate yourself. And they kind of hover. Uh, yeah, um, here's a guy. Oh, you spin him. This is a boss. This is a boss and a half. <laughs> oh. Ugh. So, yeah, he's just here. Which, in the film, they, he is in the airport. He does, he does beat up everyone. Um, why'd they turn Kelsey Grammer into the villain? I don't know. Poor Frasier. Uh, so here's a guy. He is here. Ooh. Alright, uh, so let's go back to the beginning area of the game, of the, not the game, of, but of the level. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a really interesting level. I, I, I like the idea of, like, you know, having these conveyor belts and then the bounce pads based on that. Um, I don't know, it works out kind of nicely. Like, you're definitely going around and exploring a lot of... You know, a lot of height and going back to a room on a higher ground. Um, I, I, I just kind of like that idea. Just because, like, usually when you see, like, a 2D platformer, like, they're, they're designed very horizontally. They go very flat. But, yeah, there's a surprising amount of, like, you know, room over room in this in this game. It definitely takes advantage of the, uh, of the fact it's on a 3D platform. Like, that's something a lot of these games forgot. Or... They went a bit too overboard on the 3D, and it ends up being kind of awkward. I think the double jump really makes it, and the fact that it's not too momentum-based. You don't move too fast. In fact, a lot of these rooms, like this room, really would be quite tiny, um, in like a real-world scenario. But, uh, just the fact that, like, it's got a bit of the scale there, um, I like it. And, uh, yeah, like, I'm... Um, you know, playing this again. It holds up-ish. I think, uh, yeah, uh, some, some, uh, some of my very close friends will know I tried really challenging myself to play every uh, licensed Disney game that was released on the PS1. There's a lot. The PS1 sold a lot of systems, and that was the time that they milked all the tie-in video games. So they'd have, I played the, uh, the Atlantis game, which ended up being a bizarre Tomb Raider uh, clone, um, to some extent, um, someone's gonna yell at me for saying that, but it kind of was, it's not the worst, but sure, uh, there was the Lilo and Stitch game, that was a Crash Bandicoot clone, um, and that one just, yeah, it actually was, like, a lot weaker, um, I guess this one you could say is a, a Banjo-Kazooie kind of inspired game, but I'd say it has enough of a merit on its own to, to not worry about that, um, I'm gonna use this 
to glide on over. Uh, you guess where the last one was. Is it up there? I have... <laughs> I have indeed. He's underneath me. He's over to the... He's higher up on the right. He is totally up there. <laughs> I should have listened. Listen, he was calling out. He was saying he was there. Ah, oh, how could I be so callous? There we go. Alright, so he was above that platform. You can definitely tell it's dropping a few frames though. Like the game runs like at a rather smooth frame rate except like when it really doesn't and I guess this room is the, the one that really gets it. It really... Ooh, I hate the wind, I hate the wind, I hate it. So much. So much. It's pain. Mm. Oh, he's teasing me now. He's teasing me. He knows I can hear him. He knows I can hear him suffer. And he knows he can hear me suffer. I'm Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. Uh, <laughs> funny how like yeah, airports and video games always bring bring up uh, the idea of airport security because uh, fictional airports are always like you know not idolized, but you know what I mean. Like the, you know you cut out all the bland bits unless you're um what's the one film where Tom Hanks eats a whopper? Yeah, unless it's like that film. It's like, airports are the worst place, except for Burger King. No time to lose. How long ago did Whoppers cost 75 cents? Like, jeez. Uh, the Terminal? I think that's the film, yeah. I've never seen it, I just know of the, the Whoppers. Was that even, like, an ad? Like... Did Burger King, like, pay good money to have Tom Hanks, like, really enjoy his Whoppers? Like, I know, I think it was based on a true story, and I think that actually was what happened. But I'm curious if Burger King paid good money to get, like, really good freaking, like, you know, uh, a really good kind of presence in that film. How can you tell that, like, that wind is going? You just gotta kind of, like, glance over, see it stop, and be like, yep. I'm still gonna get blown anyway. Alright, so I think the guy is just like over in the other direction. Actually, is he? Oh, where is he? Where is he? He's not on top of the far end. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. Is he on a lower level? Oh. He is. He was down here the whole time. Alright. Alright, so I got the secret that was on top of this. Uh, I got the uh, the ham. I got the race. I got the, um, the boss. And I got this. So, I'm feeling good. To infinity and beyond. Yeah, there's no in-game like in uh, indicator to tell you that you've got all the the tokens. You just kind of run off the top of your head whether you actually did get them. Um, I feel like once I have a strat, I'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, I wish I did this one a little later. Um, because now I awkwardly have to do kind of most of the level again. Um, but only awkwardly most of the level. Uh, so let's ground pound this. So all I have to do is get the chickens on this level. Um, and then I can just do level 14 and beat the game. Uh, 
Uh, no, I've, I've definitely been enjoying this game. Uh, would I play it, like, all the time on stream? Uh, I always find that tough about, like, speedrunners. Like, as much as I, like, really enjoy, you know, like, people who get really good at playing a certain game, it's also one where it's, like, I don't know if it would be the most engaging content. Um, so I would like to have, like, a, a couple of games that I would play um, on a... On, a, on an infrequent, but definitely slightly recurring schedule. Um, and I wouldn't hate the idea of like making this game one of them, uh, just because it is the game that got me a lot of views on YouTube. I don't think I even mentioned. I think I may have been legitimately the first person to like long play, let's play this game on YouTube. Back in July or June, it was either July or June, 2008 as squeaky, squeaky voice 12 year old me who definitely should not have been on YouTube at the time, but who cares um, playing this game um, and uh, it was 100% uh, an interesting experience because that was uh, the fun, unregistered Hypercam 2 days um, oh no, well I guess they give you so much time this is really a concern um so yeah, I remember like the first video as being like jank as heck. I remember like not knowing at all the N64 version of the game, but I guess that was like the first game I played that I actually knew what I was doing. So um, I guess it was an interesting experience. And yeah, it legitimately got a lot of views. I got like I think it it is. Oh, uh, I don't think it's my most watched video now. I think the final video of uh, my Toy Story 3 like Toy Town bit. I know, right? Toy Story seems to just be, like, the view, you know, generator. It's not even the revenue generator. It doesn't even get me, like, ad money that much. It's not It's not because of Disney. It's just, like, uh, Dreamscape 09. I fortunately have never done a Dreamscape 09 video, but, um, yeah, 100% I totally would have had I, had I gotten the opportunity. Um, so that's the chicken thing. I gotta... Oh, where's the last one off the top of my head? It's not in the room with the, um, with Ham. I don't remember it being in there. Oh! Oh, I think it's up at the end here. Yeah, and then I just gotta like walk back and get this. Um, but no, yeah, like that. Um, like this, this game like is probably more to my childhood than probably the typical game that I did play as a kid, just because, like, not only was it one of the earlier PS One games that I owned, but it was also like it was the one that really got a bit of YouTube traction. It got a lot of views and not a lot of subscribers. So just, just note that. I don't have a ton of, uh, a ton of uh, followers in that regard, but, um, but I definitely do like really appreciate, I don't even know why it got a lot of views. That's, that's the big mystery to me. Like, how many people have actually played this game? And like, you know, really, really enjoy it to the point that they would look up a YouTube video, uh, particularly in 2012. Maybe that was when, like, Toy Story 3 was big and people were trying to go back, trying to really witness Toy Story 2. Um, what a shame that Toy Story 4 is a thing now. Uh, actually, I did really like Toy Story 4. I thought it was actually pretty good. Um, most people our age have probably played this. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'm, I am surprised how many people have played, like, various licensed games, but, um, yeah, I, I find it interesting now, because a lot of people I talk to, uh, like, they got into video games, um, when they were my age, uh, they got into video games at a later point, so I'd say, like, oh, I really enjoyed playing, like, first-gen Pokemon, not when it came out, but before second-gen was a thing, when the, when the TV show was, um, a big point. Um, and, and then people go like, I got into it in like Diamond and Pearl in like 2008. <laughs> okay. And like, to some extent, like little old me is like, geez, like that's forever. Like, have you not been playing Pokemon for like that long? And then I go, yeah, that was still like one, 12 years ago. And we were 12. Like, getting into video games when you were 12 isn't that weird, I guess. But definitely one where like, I think I got into them like way young. Um, so I always get surprised when I, yeah, that's when you look down on new people. I look down on new people, I don't know, like, all these heathens never played, um, 
uh, like, first gen Pokemon, they don't know the pain. They don't know the pain of, like, walking up to a guy and he says, I like short, like, shorts, the line can't be the way, like, that kind of stuff. They don't know the pain of wondering why the heck their Charizard constantly crits with Slash, uh, thinking that their game, their Charizard is just really good, and not that their crit chance mechanic is heavily relying on the base feed of the Pokemon to the point that Pokemon with really good base feed and actually make it all, you know, crit moves always crit. Um, gimmick with this level, by the way, is that it's on this massive... Uh, it's not even a runway, it's like this square kind of, you know, <laughs> Mario Kart battle course, effectively. Uh, and it's got various, like, puzzles and bits off in the corners, uh, and you just have to know, like, what areas are what. But they fortunately numbered uh, eight kind of sides of an octagonal shape. Um, so that's alright. Um, if you didn't missing no glitch your way all the level 100s, didn't even play Pokemon. You know, I've actually never... Um, actually, I have missing no glitched. Um, I've never I've never done a, a run with um, a missing no glitch, like, primarily, but uh, <laughs> on the topic of uh, YouTube channel and games that I've played that have generated a lot of views, the one that's making all the, the ad revenue for me is my Pokemon Blue Let's Play, and I'm glad it's picking up attention. Um, because I never want to do a, a Chuck and Conroy style uh, Pokemon Let's Play again. I tried doing Pokemon Gold way back uh, in like, was it 2016, the end of 2016, but like I stopped doing Let's Plays for a while, and I, um, and I was just like, man, it's just so much work. But I did that style for Pokemon Blue, and I really stuck to it, and I think a lot of people really appreciate it. Um, at least I'm getting like some comments, and a lot of people who tell me that I'm 100% wrong, and Butterfree is not cycling type. I I know, I know, I misspoke. It's, I even wrote it on screen. It's not even cycling type, but it's just I said it. Oh, guys, give me a break. Uh, have I looped around? I usually come around here because then I can. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, I think this is actually one that you have to climb up. This one. Um, the. If you want to actually progress in this level, or like do anything in this level, the uh, goal is more in the center. Um, actually, is this a Yeah, it is, totally. Um, <laughs> I've, I've never met a whole continent before, pretty neat. Oh, exactly, yeah. Oh, there's a fake glass in front of me, nice. Um, Am I, uh, a little deficient in the head right now because I'm currently looking at this description says I'm in Australia. Oh, <laughs> I am in Australia. Yeah, I, it, it, it's kind of weird. I'm technically the smallest continent, but like the, what is it, the, are we the sixth largest country in the world? We're pretty big. Um, I also find it's a little odd because like, I, I don't really know like where Europe draws itself. Like, I guess Russia is like a, a technical border, but, um, no, like, the, there's no, like, tectonic plate on Eurasia. It's just like, you know, where is Europe, where is Asia? <laughs> someone, someone drew a line and it's like, yep, Russia, Canada, USA. Uh, China, I believe, is bigger. Maybe we're fifth. Maybe we're fifth. I think we're fifth. Um, Yeah, I th I'm thinking we're fifth. Um, so, by the way, this is the absolute pain. So you go around here, the green is poop, and then you see Slinky Dog in the center, and you're like, no, don't do this to me. And he's like, yep, that's right. Don't jump, don't touch the green, and you can get that token. And you're like, oh, you jerk, Slinky. You jerk. So you just gotta run it. You just gotta run it. Perhaps there's a way to, like, really kind of secret, and they tease you with all these coins on the outside, but again, the coins are rather meaningless because there's plenty of them. It's like, oh, you just gotta run it. And yeah, if you touch the green, whoops, whoops, you gotta start it again. Uh, it's not too bad, it's just, just a bit of consistency. I feel kind of retro playing this just because I'm playing with a D-pad. This is how 3D platforms were meant to be played. D-pad. Crash Bandicoot is like the only 3D platform that legitimately deserves a, a D-pad. Oh, 
Um, every other, a lot of other 3D platforms, like especially anything with a free camera, it's like, eh, I can start saying, yeah, nah, it doesn't deserve the, the do that. It's like, yeah, nah, and looks sick. Um, so yeah, so the whole point of this level is that you climb to the center and you can get onto this plane that is constantly circling around the center. Uh, you have to climb over awkwardly up the plane, make sure you pick up this bag, and now you go to the edge of the plane and there is something to pick up at so many other points. For example, here is another piece of luggage. And this is why this level takes forever. Because now, you gotta go back to the center and rinse and repeat. Now, if you never picked up uh, Spyro's Fine with a D-pad, I definitely do agree. Uh, and I think my text is scrolling, so that's nice, but doing okay. Uh, Spyro's Fine with a D-pad, I think there's, there's a few 3D platforms that are fine with a D-pad, but definitely like are better with, with an analog stick. I think Spyro's one, which does feel better with an analog stick. Um, I would probably say this one, I might feel more comfortable with an analog stick, um, but right now, Stick ain't doing it for me. I, I know it's one of those games as well where it's like it's L2 and R2 to like turn the, no time to lose. Turn the buzz apparently rather than the camera. Okay. Um, I gotta know which corners I've been off. So five is a dead corner. Don't have to worry about that. Um, six was the one with the, the green. So that's all right. Seven is one I gotta get to over there. So, Seven the boss? I think seven is the boss. Yeah. Ah! Mm, you saw me. I saw the face through the plane. Oh, this is this is the time sink. And yeah, there's no there's no shortcut. I don't think being on a metal plane during a lightning storm is gonna. It's not even storming in the film. It, it, it's a it's a clear, like, sky- Oh, I, mm, I'm going a bit hasty. I'm going really hasty. This is this is the speedrun killer. Perhaps this is a two and a half hour game that I can somehow cram down into two hours. Uh, okay, so am I trying for seven again? Yep, I guess I am. Uh, is it playing Man of Metal? Maybe. Man, I went to fix breakfast and he's still going. Um, yeah, no, but I, like, this is the last, like, main level of the game, and then I'm, like, there's a boss level, and then I'm done. Like and, and I was kind of like, you know, I'll, I'll go for two hours, and then I'll see how I go, and I'm like, yeah, I can, I can do this in two hours. Alright. Here I go. Up down here, here's an enemy. At some point, like, you have to realize that, like, if the bosses have less health than you do... There's something wrong. There's something wrong with your bosses. Um... Yeah, they're a bit... They're a little on the too easy side in this game. Uh, that is the second last boss. The last boss is obviously gonna be in the last level of the game. Um... I don't think there's any other loose coins, but that's okay because hands just on the ground. Um, I forgot which which uh, corner is that, but is that one of them? You'll find it eventually. Uh, why they made like a really wide last level? I'm not too sure, but listen, it's neat and it's something different, and I like at least the the, uh, the setting. They did this rain effect for the Bugs Life game, which came out before this as well. Which is a little more uh, raw collectathon because it does have the collect all 50 thingies. I am not going to get to that in time. Nah. Okay, rip. Uh, does 2 have anything? No, 2's got the, the thing on the top which I already picked up. Uh, there's 3. 3 is a corner. Four is... Wait, so I've already got two of the tokens. And then it's just... Yeah, it's, it's the secret, it's the coins, and it's the, the bag. I think I'm actually like almost done with this level. 
I thought there were more stuff to do in the corners. I guess there's only two corners you gotta go to. Plus, uh, plus six. Just there. Okay, well that was a little quicker than I was expecting, I guess, but... Uh, it's not over yet. Oh, you gotta jump off at eight as well! Because it's a bag at eight, isn't it? Thank you, game. Appreciate it. The snake is just dead. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of enemies around here to sort of get those coins, so that's fine. Um. Yeah, I don't really have too much more to say because the, the game's almost done. I guess, yeah, like, I, I, I said this was for speedrunning, but I guess it's more just, like, kind of long playing it <laughs> rather than <laughs> rather than speedrunning. Um, but, like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good being able to, to play this game just completely. Um, I don't, I, I guess here's something I should prefix. I don't want this Twitch channel to be completely just me playing games that I've already played on my channel. Um, I would like to play newer stuff, uh, older stuff, uh, newer, old stuff. Um, that's good fun. Oh, I actually had a scare today. Uh, not today, but, uh, last week, it would have been Thursday, um, where my computer was just like, I'm just gonna die on you. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird, because I switched my power supply, expecting that there was a power issue delivering to my processor, um, and I had bought a new power supply, like, hit me on this back. Uh, so here's the puzzle. Uh, you have three goes, and you have to turn on the lights and turn off the lights such that you can create the pattern. So I guess the clearest thing for me to do is to turn on uh, blue, uh, turn on yellow, and then turn on green. That was really hard. I don't know why I used to have so much trouble as a kid on that. Um, I believe the pattern is different, but I also believe it's probably always solvable. So. Uh, and yeah, helicopter just responds to it. What game is next on the list? I'm not too sure, and I kind of was expecting this to take me two weeks, so I could spend two weeks figuring out the next game. But, uh, it seems to be that I've got to figure that out for next week. Um, but that should be okay, that should be okay. Um, what games will I play? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I've definitely got some stuff like on my Steam library that I can just like sit back and play. Um, but I guess technically everything I've played on this channel on um, Twitch right now has been emulated, which is something that I can definitely address. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure like what exactly I'd play. Um, I do want to lean a little away in RPG for the moment, just because. Like, let's, let's not have the channel be more than 50% RPG. Um, maybe something else. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't have any hard ideas, so I'm going to have to tell you to stay tuned and watch out for the, the stream alert. Um, yeah, that comes up. Uh, and then that's that's all the Pizza Planet tokens. There it is. See ya. Uh, but it's, I guess it's not 100% because you've got to beat the final boss. Um... Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah, I'm feeling confident for two and a half hours. <laughs> the, the movie really should end at that point. It does, in fact. But we have to introduce a final boss because it's a video game. And, uh, yeah, that final boss may or may not just be... The last three bosses. Mm. Also, I guess like Jesse is not a like, crap to the uh, I'm thinking of the speedo is just like go ham on this. Yeah, we should really go ham. Just use up your remaining lives, like, really, really harshly. Uh, 
Oh. Wow, it, it it doesn't even like have any like involve when you get spawned back in. And that was it by the way. So uh time T, there it is. That's that's the game. Weird looking woody. Uh and yeah, that's that's the game. Uh I guess yeah, interesting that I can do that in one sitting. Um but yeah nah. Uh so I guess that's it. Um Will I watch the end movie just to get Disney to copyright strike me? I guess so. Well, stinky Pete, I think it's time you learned the true meaning of playtime. Right over there, guys! No! 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 Okay, got it. That that is a surprising like last movie clip that you see. Oh, well, I guess oh, you get this. Bullseye! We're part of a family again! Thank, thanks, Disney, for DMCAing me. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you for giving Tim Allen absolutely no role in Toy Story 4. I don't know why he's an idiot in Toy Story 4. Sure, thank you. Um, Disney Pixar and just so many sequels. Um, yeah, no, they've got so many sequels, haven't they? Good old John Burton. He still he still does his YouTube channel, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, if you if you enjoy uh, John Burton, um, give his channel Game Hut uh, a look. He uploads a bunch of stuff. I don't know if he still uploads anymore, but he's definitely got a lot of good good things on there. Um, just about his own games in particular. Um, but he was... I don't think he ever talks about this game, though. Um, he has mentioned the first Toy Story a bit. Because um, they did do they did do the uh, the original version. I think the Genesis game was the... Um, I guess, like, the, the favorite platform at the time. They always did, like, the Genesis over the, um, the SNES, which is interesting. Um, is, that, is that THE Bruce Campbell? Maybe. So many people at Disney, though. Although I guess, I guess, like you know, it does have to rely on Disney to some degree. They've got to approve things. I actually rip Disney Interactive because I assume there's probably a lot of people who are part of Disney and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to come on to your, your Toy Story game and we'll help you out with the licensing specific stuff and not just like the engine stuff. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't see the guy. I didn't see my boy Richard. So. Yeah, this game just kind of happens. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have too much to say about it. It just kind of ends, kind of happens. But for what it's worth, like what it does, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting... Um, I guess like game to play and just one that like yeah you do collect a lot of things and you do have various various levels and various just like you know challenges on each level um so at least there's something to talk about uh i'm surprised activision never changed their logo for quite a number of years in fact they still have this logo don't they by the way how many ps1 games have like a really low like frame rate version of their logo like, this, this one seems to be pretty smooth, but, you know, other games, it's like, you know. Also, did this game, like, hard reset on me? Like, I gotta load it? It did hard reset on me, nice. That's an interesting one. Um, I guess you can always load it later. Uh, but with that, uh, I think that will call it for a stream. So thank you guys so very much for sticking around and... Uh, there you go, 50 out of 50. Thank you guys so very much for sticking around and watching this full, full game, like the whole thing, in one go. Um, 
if you really enjoy this kind of stuff uh please feel free to follow on twitch or subscribe on the youtube where the vods will always end up uh, i am very amazed that out of 540,000 frames of this video because of this this is two and a half hours of 60 frames a second content i dropped 277 near the beginning i think and and i've done this entire stream on mobile data i am absolutely amazed at how well my mobile internet has been able to to cope with this because yeah my actual internet has been out this whole stream so what a bit of a shame but uh it's held up really nicely so you know my ambience pretty good but my mobile was remarkably all right like it was 70 down and then like 15 up which i imagine there's a lot of people with NBN plans that are just worse than that so uh, so thank you guys so very much for watching uh what game will i play next i don't know but you will find out very soon because i seem to be doing these every week right now so that's all right so i'll catch you guys next week have a good one sleep early stay safe